We are really starting to learn uh, more and more about PSA, what works with PSA screening and what doesn't work. And while the individual number uh, can be important, particularly if it's high, in that usual range uh, of less than 10, what is probably more important is a change in the PSA over time. The number that's getting a lot of a tension right now is something known as the PSA velocity of 0.4 milligrams um, per deciliter per year. And that appears to be the critical number. If a patient has a PSA velocity that's going up on more than one or two occasions by 0.4, they're the ones that are most likely to be developing a, uh, a cancer that requires biopsy and treatment. Whereas if you have a relatively flat PSA velocity, you're not going up by 0 0.4 uh, per year. Those patients can probably be watched. So yes, the absolute number, while it's important, um, what is probably more important is the PSA dynamics, and that's something that we're learning more about as time goes on.